Eric, thanks very much for your time and uh, coming out of a very difficult, challenging environment for Avenge for the last couple of years. Can you talk us through you know, what you've had to do to stabilize this business and to create a new platform for, for a, a business that's sustainable into the future? Right, Terence, thanks, thanks very much. I think, I think where we came from was what we called the perfect storm last year which is a situation we found ourselves in where we had uh, some major uh, contract awards again against us, QCLNG. We had to impair a lot of the um, uncertified revenue on, on contracts that we had on our books. So we did those write-offs um, and then we had to renegotiate our bank debt. So I think what we did from there was we, we obviously um, embarked on a strategic review um, and we identified what were the core businesses, what were the non-core businesses. We identified the core businesses to be McConnell, Dowell and Millman's, um, and we classified Grinica LTA, the manufacturing businesses, and steel as non-core. Um, so the plan is that we'll dispose of the non-core businesses. We plan to do that uh, by the end of June 2019. Um, and then at the same time we embraced the capital markets transaction, um, which comprised really a, a, a rights issue. We raised 493 million in the rights issue. We then converted the convertible bond into equity. Um, that was two billion of debt that matured in July 2019. And then, um, so that happened uh, yesterday actually. Um, and of course we had to renegotiate our bank facilities uh, where we were happy to increase the facilities by 400 million, but more importantly, we were able to term them out until 2020. So I think those three pieces provide us with a, a solid platform in terms of the balance sheet now to execute our, our strategy. Um, so the strategy, the key priorities there are to do the d disposals, as I've said, and then um, we need to get um, McConnell, Dowell and Millman's performing at the levels where they, where they should be performing. So I think there we're in a turnaround phase with both, both businesses. McConnell, Dowell's more advanced than Millman's um, and is making good progress. Uh, it delivered the results that we were expecting in uh, 2018, both profit-wise and cash flow-wise. Millman's needs to improve its performance in uh, in the years ahead, but but Millman's has performed solidly over probably the last 10 years. On the disposals, how many transactions are you envisaging and over what period of time and how much realistically do you think you can re realise during this process? Okay, so there, there are a number of businesses to be disposed of, so obviously steel is a, is a single entity. Um, in the case of manufacturing, there are five businesses there. Um, we've got uh, DFC, a ACS, and then Infraset, uh, Duraset, and Rail. Um, so those are going to be five discrete disposals. In the case of Grinica LTA, there are probably seven businesses there that need to be disposed of. Um, so there we've got uh, a lot of interest around the water, M&E, and, and Building South business. Um, then we've got the Building inland business which is the Santon building business and the uh, civils business and then there's just two small businesses Rand Roads and Gel. Um, so I, th I think um, we're confident we can dispose of those businesses before the end of June 2019. Um, obviously it's going to require uh, quite a lot of bandwidth and we'll use um, advisors as required to help us with some of those disposals. But we are quite well advanced in preparing the businesses for sale and in a number of cases we have expressions of interest which in some cases will, will con convert into expressions, from expressions of interest into bonding offers in the short term. And the proceeds from that, so those sales? We're going to use the proceeds to uh, deleverage the business and also some of it to, to make sure we've got adequate work capital to invest in McDowell and uh, Wilmots as we go forward. And the Greenica LTA sale might be different from some of the other units in the sense that it's, it's got multiple aspects, components to it, some are performing well, some that are maybe oversized for the current market. How do you see the Greenica LTA transaction panning out 
and what element of black economic empowerment do you expect those businesses will carry in the future? Yeah, look, I mean, we, we had hoped to do a, a single transaction on Greenica LTA. Uh, we were well advanced on that front to a, to a BEE player. We, we're very conscious of our VLP um, obligations. Um, so we need to, we need to um, do a deal around buildings and civils that meets the requirements of the VLP. And, and we're confident that's, that's what will happen. And when we look at June 20, 2019, which is the sort of outer envelope for when you want to have the disposals all done, what will Avenge be and uh, what will the future look like? So, I mean, if you, if you simplify it, um, Avenge will be a business that comprises Mulmans and McConnell Dell. We do think there's some synergies between um, the two businesses in, in terms of the footprint that they operate in. So we think there's, there's some mining opportunities in Southeast Asia, for example, where um, McConnell Dell does, does a lot of business. Finally, Eric, your role, you stepped into the breach when it was really looking dire. Uh, you executive chairman at the moment. What is the future for yourself and the, the, the structure in terms of governance? Yeah, look, I mean, it is an abnormal situation, as you say. The, the chairman and the CEO should be separated. That will happen at the right time. Um, but we've, we've actually had a hell of a year trying to do what we had to do. We've kept our heads down and, and stayed true to our strategy um, and now it's time to decide how we go forward from here.